today. We're going to study the Magna Carta. Um, I gave this lecture, this six-hour class, and so now it's your turn to get the lecture. For my college course, it's Ed 54 from LCSE, and I have to give a structured lecture. So you guys, normally in your classes, you would do CDs on the computer back there, and you'll go through that uh, process. And I'm going to incorporate that, those that uh, leadership segment that you guys have been doing along with the history of our government in America. And um, also with the Magna Carta, it'll provide the framework for the structure of our government. Um, so right now I need to take a roll. So I'm gonna go walk over to my computer over there. That's a school computer and I'm recording on my home computer. So that's a school computer, so I need to take a roll. And while I'm doing that, um, there is a word called decide or decide. And I'm going to give you the definition. And I want you to tell me by the definition what you, th how you think it should be pronounced. And um, the definition of that word is to illegally remove property from someone. Well, I asked Mr. Seymour. I asked I asked Mr. Seymour, and he thought it was a misspelling. And then I asked some, uh, our other government teachers, and they one thought it was deceased, which that's what I thought it was too. And the other one didn't know. So if you guys want to, you can get on the computer and try to Google that and see what you find, and we'll compare that to the six-hour class, see what they find. So I'm gonna go take roll. It'll just be really quick, um, and I'll fill it on the board here. Okay. And yes. 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 So S I D I S S I C S E D. So and then check that double spe that that spelling because I got that from a resource on the online. And um and check that to make sure it's not wrong. Because it could be. You don't know. So anyway, um this is the handout that I have and uh, you can look through this as we're going. Also, um, if you want to come up here and get your hand out, um, <coughs> you can look through those, and that'll just help you keep track of what I'm going to say. All right. So the objective for this lecture is students will demonstrate knowledge of the Magna Carta and how it applies to the legal system in America. Okay. So got on the board. First of all, who knows about the Magna Carta? What do you know? Yeah, he was king when when it was signed. So he didn't make it. Who wrote it? Do you know? No. Go ahead. That's right. Took away the power of the monarchy. Okay, that's awesome. So um, yeah, King John had to sign it, but why would a king? give away his absolute power. Because they made him. Nobody liked him. That's right. Okay, so do you guys know about the events before the Magna Carta? Why didn't they like him? So he was a horrible, what makes a bad leader? So not taking responsibility for the things you do. Hi. Yeah, it's okay. No, she's not here. Okay, but thank you. So not taking responsibility for the things you do. Okay. That that is good. Um. So what would a good leader look like? Okay, so it takes, so whether they're right or not, takes responsibility for it, is that what you're saying? Okay, so what you're meaning is whether or not there's a good consequence, yeah. good or bad consequence, if, because you said they make decisions and they, they take credit for it, whether or not it's good. So what do you, are you meaning that if, say someone makes a good decision morally, 
but he still kind of gets persecuted for it. And that's a, an example of a good leader. Yeah. yeah, you're right. That is a, an example of a good leader. Um, so I'm trying to stay within the camera so I can write up on the board. Um, but that is, he makes good decisions. Um, and and he's, so he stands by his decision. So, so what else could you call that? Good. Because the other name for Magna Carta is the Great Charter. Collector's Guide. Right. River is River Magna Carta. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Um, but the other thing, see, I tend to do word associations myself and how I learn. And so you just brought up an example of good character, how someone stands behind their decision and they're going to stand firm in that no matter if other people think it's right or wrong, which is really what a good leader, and it's very important for a police officer. So that is character. So I kind of like to play the, the, the great character charter. And it helps me remember what the Magna Carta is all about. So, are you guys still looking up that word? What do you guys found? Is it down? No, it's not down. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That's fine. Um, because I want to keep you guys engaged, and that's fine if you're doing something else. Why? Why? I'm I'm lecturing this. Um, okay. So we've got the Great Charter, and it has to do with character. What does that have to do with being a cop? Being a leader. Yeah, what does the Magna Carta have to do with being a leader? Because we talked, you said the monarchy, and then we talked about absolute power. What do we have now in our government? Oh, we have, we have leadership. We have, we have leadership. <laughs> okay, so what what is our government made up of, though? Is it, what what type of government? Yeah. Yeah, what, what type of government do we have? We have a democracy and a republic. We have both. <laughs> we actually have both, and it's a difference between federalism, because that's like national, and then you have your state and local, and that's more of a republic, because a republic is when the, the people elect the, uh, the officials to make decisions for them. And the more well, that's right, and you're not born into it; you're voted. So, how is the how is it different from the mar monarchy? You weren't born into it. In the mo monarchy, you have to be born into it. So, the great. So, what is that? Have you guys ever heard of the divine right? Okay. So, with the divine right, that's the same thing as saying um, you're born into the monarchy, because originally God said, "Yeah." Uh-huh. Okay, try that. See what you come up with. All right. So you've got the um, the monarchy, the divine right, which says that you're born into this, which started way back, 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 far, far away. That, and that's how governments were always decided. You were born to rule that nation. And it was by God that you were this you were supposed to rule that nation and um, I'm gonna stop here so that I can upload this